Hello and welcome back to the lecture on applied econometrics and we are talking about dummy variable and we have been talking about different types of uh, cases that we may face when you are dealing with dummy variable and in the previous lecture we spoke about a possibility that we if we want to include all the dummy variables in the regression equation what is going to happen okay and we said that there is a there is a critical problem called dummy variable trap that we are going to face and we need to understand what is dummy variable trap and why is it happening all right so let's actually try to explain that now we said that if i have m dummy m, m categories of a variable of a categorical variable so we will include m minus 1 dummy variables in the regression equation to represent that particular category now if I have all the dummy variables included, all the categories of the dummy variable included, so it is going to give me a situation called perfect collinearity. I repeat, it is going to give me a situation called perfect collinearity. And it will happen, the perfect collinearity will happen because there is a intercept term we have in the regression equation. I am just going to explain how these two things are related. Now, let me first show you let me first show you why this dummy variable trap is coming okay and where from it is coming so the moment i include all these different let's say in this case if i include let's say general sc st and obc i have all these four categories and i have seen the summation of di is always going to give me a value of one okay so if i have all these different categories included and if i sum them up they're always going to give me a value of 1 value of the variable is going to be 1 value of that particular category of particular variable social group is going to be always 1 right because all the if I include all the four all the four so these are adding up to 1 so you really you really do not see if you don't have the reference category you really do not see the variations right so if I have one category as 0 and other categories as 1 then I can see the variation from 0 to 1 but here all I am having is a constant term 1 because I have included all the subcategories right now if you look at the constant term if you look at the constant term so constant term actually could be explained constant term it is a constant value so in our case it's maybe minus 2 something minus let's just see it, whatever value it has it really doesn't matter but yeah minus 2 5 Nine four minus two five nine four. Now, if that is the if that is the constant value, so it could actually be expressed as a let's say this is the value of the coefficient two five nine four, which is multiplied with the value of the variable, which is one. So, constant term has for for all the observations. If I actually think about all the different observations, so they will have the value of the variable always one, right? And if I have this summation of di that is also going to be 1 so it would mean that when the my software is trying to read when my software is trying to read the values of the variable it will always read the value of the sum total of the dummy variable that part of that particular uh, variable all all the different dummy if if i basically take a sum total then it is going to give me a value of 1 right and at the same time for each of the different observation the my program will read the the value of the variable is always 1 so it will try to sort of you know it will try to understand for you know like where from the variation is coming the variation is not coming so it will basically see that this two variable are essentially same because they are always having the same value they are always having the value is equal to 1 right for the constant term as well as for the sum total of di now because of that because it is always same so it will not be able to understand the importance of you know it will not be able to it will not be able to differentiate the two different variables it will essentially think that this variable for the constant term essentially and this one they're essentially the same variable so when i have you know like this is let's say this is x1 is equal to x2 so my program will say that okay so these variables are you know perfectly collinear so that i can actually explain one variable with respect to the other without any sort of uh, you know uh, deviation but if i have in some cases this this is equal to 0 and this is equal to 1 so then what i'll have i'll have some variation and that will not be equal to then it, x1 is not x1 is not going to be equal to x2 if i have if i have 
in if I have summation of di not equal to 1 and that is only possible if I actually exclude a category. If I exclude a category, let us say if I exclude the general category here and if I include only SCST OBC, so then this value is going to be 0 and these values are going to be 1. So, in this case, in this case summation of di, summation of di is not equal to 0 is is not equal to 0 for all the cases okay, or is not equal to 0 for some cases. Okay. So, that is where the variation is coming. So, essentially we understand that if the if uh, I have the summation of di is equal to 1, so that it will have a perfect collinearity with a constant term. Okay. Uh, but if I have, if I allow one particular category to be a reference category and exclude that, then I include some variations here and I get the, actually I will be able to interpret the dummy variable or, or, or basically the other uh, categories vis-a-vis -vis the reference category. Now how to avoid the dummy variable trap? So let us go back. So there are two ways to actually avoid the dummy variable trap. And the first way you can actually avoid the dummy variable trap is with the simple way where you actually can create like m minus 1 categories of dummy variable. You actually choose a reference category okay? and that is the most convenient one because if you choose one as a reference category, you can always explain the other categories vis-a-vis -vis the reference category. But there is another way of doing it and that other way is if you actually make the intercept term is 0. So, you can basically you know in your regression equation you can actually specify that you do not want an intercept term and you will get a regression equation accordingly. But then you are actually assuming that if you do not have any intercept term, so your regression line is passing through the origin. Okay? So, that is a big assumption you are making. So, usually you probably do not want to do that. But more importantly, if you, uh, so what will happen if you actually make the uh, intercept term 0, so this perfect collinearity problem will not arise and you will see that you are actually able to run the regression equation with m dummies. If you have all the m dummies included, there is no problem, it, it will still run. Okay? But there is a problem in the sense that when I have all the m dummies included, how do I really interpret the values of the dummy variable with respect to each other? Because dummy variable is always explained as a uh, sort of in a, is a relative concept. It is explained in terms of with respect to something, right? But if you do not have any reference category, so usually it is very difficult to explain also. So, because of that, we normally do not go for the route of making intercept term 0, but rather what we do is we include all these different uh, categories of dummy with keeping one category as a reference category. So, this is how we essentially uh, address the dummy variable trap. Now, suppose, suppose in our regression equation, we include all the dummy variables. So, what will happen then? Let us see. Stata is a very smart uh, software and let us see what will happen if I include all the different dummy variables here. So, here I had SCST OBC and let me actually include in the regression equation, let me also include general okay? and then let us see what happens here. So, the same equation I am going to copy and I am going to paste also. So, what I have done, what I will do is I will also include general okay? and we will see what happens here if I have all the four categories included. Now, it will definitely give me a collinearity problem SCST, OBC and general, but it's sometimes what will happen you will see your it stata or any other software is actually giving you an error message, but here Stata is really uh, smart and what it will do is it will automatically choose a reference category okay? and it will omit it okay? and it will say that SC is omitted because of collinearity, the problem that we just said because when you add all these four SCST OBC general, the value of the variable is becoming 1 and when it is, is equal to 1, it is becoming perfectly collinear with a constant term. It could be interpreted as the multiplication of this coefficient into a value of the variable which is equal to 1. Okay? So, that is why the my program has, my software has already omitted a particular category which is SC and it will choose uh, you know uh, at its own convenience. So, it has decided to sort of uh, have SC as the reference category and it is omitted and then when it is omitted then you can again sort of explain the impact of other uh, you know categories vis-a-vis. -vis the SC category. Okay? 
So, this is how we should understand the dummy variable drop concept. All right. So, you can actually look Christopher Doggett's book. Uh, it, is, uh, it is nicely explained and it is in the chapter 5. And with this, we will uh, sort of um, uh, sort of we will end the lecture on uh, dummy variable trap. And in the next lecture, we are going to see next couple of lectures, we are actually going to see the concept of uh, you know reduced form uh, regression. We have already kind of touched upon that uh, reduced form equations in, in uh, when we talk about dummy variable. And we are also going to see uh, the the other type of dummy variable that is a slope dummy variable in the next couple of lectures. Thank you.